Hello strangers, my name's Kate, and I have always really loved reading. Well, at least as a child I always really loved it. Today it's a little more difficult, but that's a whole other story. Um, but there was one point in my childhood where I almost completely lost the love of reading, and it was all because of a teacher. <laughs> Little backstory, my school had this thing where and I'm pretty sure most schools had this, but anyway, where you were divided up into reading classes based on your own reading level. So like, you might have third graders in the same class as fifth graders because the third graders are at a fourth grade reading level and those other fifth graders are at a fourth grade reading level. You know what I mean? So anyway, so I was always ahead of the game when it came to reading. Like I, by the time I hit seventh grade, I think I was at like a college reading level. So even in elementary school, I was ahead of the game. So I was most of the time that younger student in the class with the older students. So my last two years of elementary school, fourth and fifth grade, I was in the highest reading level class offered at the school. Both years. So both years, the same teacher. And this was the teacher that almost ruined reading for me entirely. The only reason that I continued to love reading after all of that crap is because I'm stubborn as fuck, okay? Anyway, so why was this teacher so horrible? There are so many reasons. <laughs> first things first, she constantly yelled at us, like all the time over stupid things. If we made comments that she disagreed with, or if we were having troubles with the, te with the tests that she was giving us. At one point, she gave us a test that was designed for like ninth graders. And remember, these were like mostly 5th graders and some 4th graders, and she gave us a test that was designed for ninth graders and expected us to be able to do it and got, like, passive-aggressive and mean to us when we weren't good at it. Like, or if we didn't understand the instructions that she gave us because she didn't explain it well enough. Like, whatever. So anyway, I, as a very emotional person, had a hard time with this, <laughs> and Sometimes I would cry in that class, and I wasn't the only one. At one point, I was crying so much that my teacher put in my, like, school report card thing that I was crying and that I needed to learn to uh, control my emotional state better. So my mom sees this, and she obviously knows that it's not entirely on me, because A, this was the only teacher of mine that was saying this crap, and B, I had a piece of plastic stuck in my eye during that time. <laughs> and was going in and getting freaking laser surgery to remove it. But that's a whole other story. Well, I probably won't actually make a whole video about that. So basically, I opened my eyes in the public swimming pool over the summer and got a piece of plastic stuck in my eye. Really grateful that I didn't get anything else up in there. And I had to go get, like, surgeries multiple times to get it removed. So anyway, so that was going on too. My eye was really sensitive. It was a mess. So my mom asked me if, I, if she wanted her to take care of it for me, and I said no, because I thought that I should take care of this on my own, and also because I was terrified of getting in trouble, and I was afraid that this freaking crazy woman was going to say something about me that would get me in trouble with my mom. I had no idea what that would be, but I was convinced that she would come up with something to get me in trouble, because that's how this person was. Like... I, I think about this often, like, about how, like, if if that belief was even accurate, was even, like, something that could have happened, and yeah, I still absolutely believe that that is what would have happened if I had told, if I had asked my mom to go take care of this for me. Like, legit. The second thing in this story is all about how she had this personal library in her class that she would uh, sometimes allow students to check books out of. So, I want to stress at this point, this was her personal library that she curated for herself that was in her classroom, okay? Like, these were her books. So anyway, I never checked out a book from her because, again, I was afraid that she was going to come up with some reason to get me in trouble. So I didn't want to do anything with her. At all. Ever. Somebody else in the class checked out, was trying to check out this one particular book from her. I don't know what the book was. I still don't know. I'm, I've tried to figure out what the book was based on what I can remember of the story. I have no idea what it is. <laughs> but anyway, she grabs the book from the student and says something about how 
this book doesn't portray this thing. I'm pretty sure it was drug use or something in an accurate way, and it's just a terrible book. It's a terrible book. I don't know why it's here. I don't know why you want to check this out. And she tears it in half, like along the spine, just tears it in half. And then she proceeds to continue tearing it and tearing it and tearing it in front of the entire class. I vividly remember the student who originally wanted to check out this book staring up at her like... <laughs> what the fuck? Completely... just in shock. Does it... Who does this? What? Uh, <laughs> a reading teacher! Just picture it! Picture it! <laughs> a reading teacher! Just tearing a book to shreds! Her own book! <laughs> from her own library that would be like like if i was like oh man this book this book right here it doesn't it doesn't portray witches correctly so i'm just gonna tear it apart just grab it from my own bookshelf and tear it in half Ugh. so that happened <sighs> so anyway <laughs> But honestly, the worst of this, at least for me, was the fact... Huh, was the fact that she was adamant, absolutely adamant, about us not reading the books that she was going to assign to us in the class, like, ahead of time. Which I guess makes sense, I guess, because, you know, you want your students to have, like, a fresh experience and everybody to be on the same level. And also, she used the school's, like, book testing system as her testing system. And if you already took the test on the book, then you already know the answers and, like, you can get a better score just from remembering the answers. So I guess it kind of made sense, but whatever. She didn't give us a list at the beginning of the year of all the books that we were going to read. She didn't. She refused. I'm pretty sure somebody asked her for a list of the books that we were going to read, and she refused to give it to them. I don't know if she was just like paranoid that they were gonna go to the city library and check out the books and read them ahead of time or what because she told the school librarian what books we were going to read and the school librarian would then not let us check out those books right but like I used the city library anyway half the time anyway point is at one point she announces the next book that we were going to read in like a couple weeks or so so I decide I'm gonna check out a book from the library by the same author and so that I can like get to know their their writing style and see if I like them all of this and because I was a huge nerd and was looking for another book to read anyway so I check out another book by the same author <laughs> not the book that we were gonna read the same author different book okay so the cover art for this book was very similar to the cover art of the book that we were actually going to read for the class. So a friend of mine saw that I was reading this book and decides to go tell our teacher that I was reading the book that we were going to be reading in the class. I don't know why she did this. I don't know, I don't know what compelled her to go and tell on me for something so stupid, but whatever. It was like fourth or fifth grade. Kids are weird. Like, they're they're either people pleasers or they're troublemakers. Like, there's no in-between with kids at that age, I've noticed. Anyway, I have no idea that this is happening because my friend didn't even give me the freaking heads up that she had done this. So we get to the day in class where, she's, where our teacher is passing out all of the copies of the books to all the students for us to take home and start reading. She gets to me and, uh, do you think this teacher pulled me aside and said, hey, so person told me that you had already read this book. Is that true? Blah, 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 blah. Do you think that she just let it go? No. No, she did not. She calls me out in front of the entire class by saying, by calling my name and I'm going up there and she says something like, not like you need a copy of the book, do you, Kate? Just like that. And I know it sounds like I'm making that up because what kind of educator would say something like that? Especially to somebody who's like between eight and ten years old. <laughs> Who says something like that? I don't, I don't understand. 
at first I was like, I, I couldn't under, I didn't understand exactly what she said, because A, I just couldn't understand her, and B, I was so confused as to why she would say something like that. So she explained, oh, well, this person told me that you read this book already, so I tell her, no, I fucking didn't, didn't swear, because A, child, and also I was Mormon at the time and didn't swear in general. But anyway, said, so, no, I fucking didn't. <laughs> I did not read it. I read a different book by the same author, and she says, oh, well, we'll just see about that, won't we? She gets on the school testing system, sees that I took a test on the other book, and says, oh, sorry, and just moves right along, as if nothing happened at all. So then, you know, some other shit happens, and whatever, we move on. Later on, either that year or the next year, she announces the next book that we were going to be reading. And it just so happens, remember how I said that I check out books from the city library as well as the school library? Yeah. I just so happened to already be reading that book. I was literally reading that book as she was standing right here. I remember this vividly too. I'm sitting at my desk reading this book and she's standing right freaking there announcing that we were going to be reading that book. So I start panicking because again, I don't like getting in trouble. It was stupid for me to be panicking because this woman was crazy and it was not my fault. It was not my fault that I am not a mind reader and didn't know that this book was going to be the next one that we were going to read. So I thought to myself, what am I going to do about this? Am I going to stop reading this book? Am I going to tell her that I've been reading the book and ask her if I can continue reading it? And I thought to myself, She's never going to let me continue reading it. So, fuck it. I don't want to stop reading this book. It's a good book. I want to finish this book. I don't want to wait three months on everybody else finishing the book to be able to finish it. I want to fucking read it. So I did. And then my stupid ass decides, you know what? Screw her. I'm going to go take the, the, the test on it. And so that I can get the points, because there was this whole point system where, you know, you rank up, you, you get points from taking the different tests, and then you get to, like, buy stuff from the little school store, like candy and books and shit. So I was like, I want the points, so I'm gonna go take the test. That was my vital mistake. If I hadn't taken the test, it would have been fine. Like, nothing would have happened. I could have just waited to take the test until after reading it again and probably could have gotten a better score. Although, actually, I think I got like 100% on all of those tests because I'm a really good test taker. But anyway, point is, if I just had not taken the test, they, she wouldn't have known that I had read it. Because again, checked it out from the city library, didn't try to check it out from the school library. Just, yeah, so if I hadn't taken the test, it would have been fine. That was my one mistake. <laughs> that is the one thing that I look back on in this whole experience and wish that I hadn't done. But, alas, I done did that. We get about halfway through reading the book, and she's looking at all the testing things, and calls me over and says, Hey, Kate, why have you already taken the test on this book? Again, in front of the entire fucking class. So I go over and I say, I started reading it before you announced that we were going to be doing this book. And she just sighs, well, fine. And she sends me back to my desk, and then she's looking at it again, and she says, Oh, but then why is the, uh, I remember when I announced that we were reading this book and this test score is from after that day. So I go over and say, I don't know what to tell you. I started reading it before. I didn't want to stop reading it. And that's just that. And she's just sitting there like, I don't remember what she said after that. But point is, at this point, I was like, you know what? Fuck this person. I hate her. I can't. I'm just, I'm just gonna get through the next however long and just forget that this person exists. Obviously that part of the plan didn't work out, but I have since realized just how wrong this person was. So, to all the kids out there, if you have a teacher who's telling you not to do this, not to do that, and you know that they're, like, wrong, that's okay. It's okay to disagree with authority figures, okay? And also, it is okay to read a book and then reread it again. It is perfectly fine. I remember in my either junior seminar or AP Lit class, again, had the same teacher two years in a row, but that teacher was like a million times better 
she was still kind of, like, crazy, but a good, in a good way. She was still a good educator. But anyway, she said to us, it is okay to, because, okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure somebody in one point in that class asked her if it was okay that we had, that they had already read whatever book it was, and she said, of course it's okay. You're gonna get something different every time you read the book over again. In fact, I encourage you guys to all read these books now and reread them in five or ten years and see if you get something different from them. Because that is the beauty of reading a book at different points in your life. At different points in your life, you're gonna get something different out of the same book, okay? You're gonna have a different perspective, you're gonna have different experiences that affect how you look at the themes of the book, you're gonna pick up on different things that maybe you didn't pick up on before. It's kind of like watching a family movie from when you were like eight or nine years old, watching it the first time, and now you watch it when you're like 18 or 19, and you realize, holy shit, there's a lot of adult humor in this that I completely missed the first time that I watched it. The same thing happens with books, and that's the beauty of it. So... <laughs> Anyway, this woman was freaking crazy. I hated her, and oh my god. I think everybody hated her. Everybody was scared of her, everybody hated her, and honestly, I wish that I could, like, meet her again and tell her off for all of this bullshit, because, again, there was no reason for any of it. There was no reason for her to act that way towards students, there was no reason for her to have that rule about not reading the books, whatever. Like, there was absolutely no reason for any of the shit that she did. And to boot, she wasn't even a good teacher. If you enjoyed that, please hit like and down below and leave a comment if you also had a experience with an insane teacher, somebody who either completely destroyed your love of something or almost destroyed it, and how that worked out, because I'd love to hear more. You know, because I've had some crazy teachers. But anyway, click right here to subscribe. Up here is a video that YouTube thinks that you will enjoy based on algorithm and whatever the hell else. And until next time, I will see you later, friends. Bye!